So I'm fly cutting the arc on the underside of what is going to be the cylinder, well the main block that holds the cylinder on my traction engine. Now this arc has got to fit onto a piece of one and three quarter inch diameter copper tube so I can't fit it in there but it's going to fit on there so that's one and three quarter inch in diameter. How do I work out and set up this what is just effectively a manual fly cutter. Well, if I move this down so that the fly cutter is roughly halfway through this, what I can do is I can measure the distance between the tip of the cutter and this centre, which I get is 43.5. I'm I'm just going to try 44.44 and 44.5 44.44 is the diameter of this tube 4550 I think 44. Point, uh, 44.48 would be a good average. Now, probably the curve here and the square on the end here is not giving me a good reading. So if I just use a, a uh, something that is circular in there just to give me a a better reading e.g. if I've got a drill that's got no burrs on it I'll put a drill there so if I put it just put a small drill against that surface maybe I'll have to do it up that way that'll be it so I'll put a small drill there I'll measure that distance and then we'll add on the thickness of the drill that would be the easiest way so now we can measure that that is 41 41 point six that's pretty close isn't it 44.4 now if I want to move that what I can do is just while the cutter's not moving if I just move this then this the table and then reposition the cutter and push it against that surface I can extend it by a known amount so I loosen off the the fly cutter here I move the table a known amount with the digital readout and then push the cutter up to the surface. I can extend the cutter by easily um, in increments of, of a um, you know a point oh wow. I can definitely do it to 0.05 of a millimetre, probably a bit more accurate than that. So I can get down to a pretty accurate reading for the, the curvature on this surface in that manner.